Hey guys, so I got a comment from one of my subscribers saying that he want to create a form and the form should be submittable only if the entered data in the form is valid. For example, you can see over here, I have two text fields and a button is not clickable for now. And this button will be clickable only if the form is valid. For example, if I enter some data over here, okay, so you can see a proper warning message has been shown to enter an email address. So until I enter a proper email address, this form is invalid and as soon as I enter the data and you can see I can be able to submit the form so the button is clickable now okay so you can see the form is valid so in this video tutorial let's check out how we can achieve this so let's get started okay so just for time saving purpose I have already completed the UI thing or else the video might go up to 20 minutes or more okay so over here I have created an icon there are two text fields and a button submit button okay so let me explain you about the UI thing so first of all in main.dart page in material app I am just calling my form page in home tag okay so in form page I am making use of scaffold widget and I am just making all the thing at the center and then I am making use of form widget so that I can just add all the data of this in a form format okay so that I can just validate it by making use of form so let me explain you why I am making use of form over here okay so over here I am making use of uh, form uh, text form field where I'm just adding a decoration which has been predefined okay so this is text field uh, decoration been done and I'm just adding a decoration over here okay and then I have just created two text field and there is a size box inside which I'm just adding a button that is a submit button okay so now let's work with validating this form so for this first of all we must add a key to this form so let's create that so over here I can just create a variable called as global key and it will just accept a form okay and I will just name this form key as I can just name it as form key itself okay and then make use of global key and I will just define this type as form state okay and then I will just attach this form key to this form so key underscore form okay. so by doing this we can just easily validate our form okay so let me show you so over here text field there is a property called as validator okay so we can just make use of that so this will be a function and here we will have a parameter that is value and here if value dot is empty then it means that user has not entered anything and he is just trying to uh, submit the form without entering the data so this time we just need to pass a error message to the user so let me pass an error message as please enter name and if the form is valid then we can just return null nothing it means that user has entered this text field okay so let's check if this works or no okay so for this what I can do I can just make use of form key form key dot check current state null safety dot validate okay so let me refresh the application so now you can see it is giving me a warning because I am just trying to submit the form without entering the data okay so now if I enter some data in this text field 1 and if I submit you can see it is valid if I remove this and submit it is showing me a warning okay so the same thing I can do for uh, email parameter okay validate okay I can just copy this validator and paste it over here so here in the email text field I want to validate in such a way that uh, it should not be empty and it should be email validated for example I should add a regular expression so I have already created that so you can see if regular expression matches with the data entered in this field okay so let me type the email address over here so email address will be alphabet at the rate symbol then domain name dot com okay so this is the valid email address so here let me explain you the condition so first it should start with a alphabet okay it can be capital or small it can contain number it can contain special symbols in between somewhere over here and after that it should have a at the rate symbol so you can see over here okay and then immediately it should have some alphabets that is the domain name dot com again alphabets that should be minimum two alphabets so it cannot be something like this dot co it should be co 
okay so this is the email validation so let me refresh and show you okay so now if i submit you can see it will give me a warning okay please enter email address please enter name okay, so if i enter the data you can see the warning went and here if i enter something and if i try to submit you can see please enter a valid email address okay and now if i enter the valid email you can see the error will vanish okay so now the user can submit the form so this was the validation been done so now i want to disable this uh, button so that it can be clickable only if the form is valid okay so this can be easily be done by creating a variable over here so let me do it so here i can just add a boolean is valid and initially i will just set it to false okay so now depending on this uh, variable i want to disable or enable the button okay so you can see over here so i want to just disable this button so let me show you how we can do that okay, so i can just remove this code okay so is valid if it is valid then there will be a function called and if it is not valid then it will just return null so if i refresh so now currently it is false so it will the button will be disabled so one second i can just show you an example okay so if we define this on press as null then the button will not be clickable and if i add a function over here something like this and if i refresh you can see the button is clickable now so here if this variable is true then this function will be called and if it is false then this will be assigned to this on press just like in our case okay so now i want to just make this variable true if the form is valid right okay so what we can do we can just add a on change method to this form so here on changed and i can just call a function over here what i will do i will just create a function over here so void on change okay so this will be a function okay which will be called every time when the user press any data in the text field okay so let me show you so here i will just add a print called okay, refresh and let me check the log okay so when i press any data you can see it is this function is getting called each time when i press the da and any data in this form okay so now here i can check if the form is valid or no so for this is valid is equal to underscore form e dot current state dot valid okay so this will return true or false so if the user has entered all the data in this uh, text field then this will return true true and if it is if the user has not entered any data in this text field it will return false so we just need to add it in set state so refresh okay so i'm just entering a data over here okay so you can see it is still uh, not clickable so as soon as i enter email address over here you can see the form button got uh, immediately ig uh, invoked and the user can click the button okay so now you can just perform any action on button press okay so this can be done over here okay so i will just show a sneak bar if the form is valid okay so i will just enter my name email address so you can see button is not clickable so only after filling the form in a valid format the button will be clickable okay so you can see a sneak bar has visible got visible okay so now if i remove any data you can see this is not valid okay now it is valid okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you